trial of Wayne Bergarello got underway in earnest today, more than a year after he confessed to the shooting death of 34-year-old Cody Devine and 29-year-old Janae Wilson was also wounded in the Spark shooting last February. Paul Nelson was in the courtroom today. He joins us now live from the Washoe County Courthouse with the very latest. Paul? Yeah, Kristen, the trial got started off with opening statements and uh, Bergarello, it, it all started with uh, a crime that happened on A Street and Sparks. Bergarello owns uh, a duplex over there and uh, the shoot, he went over there because there was a shooting in the, or because, excuse me, let me start over here. Of course, each side has a different uh, conclusion of what happened that morning. The shooting happened at a vacant Sparks duplex that Bergarello owns. Now, Bergarello says he shot in self-defense, but the state says it was murder. The defendant arrives, comes out of his truck with a gun in each hand. I'm the homeowner. There's anyone in here? There's anyone in here? Come out. Both sides agree that Wilson had been staying at Bergarello's H Street property without his knowledge. They say she had met Divine the night before while gambling, and she invited him back to the duplex where they shot up methamphetamine. When a friend of Bergarello's tipped him off that someone might have been trespassing, he headed over to check it out. Prosecutors say he was armed with two handguns when he found the pair in the back bedroom and fired eight shots at them. Bergarello's attorney says the shooting was justified because he thought Divine had a gun, but no weapons were found. Prosecutors say Bergarello went to the house with the intent to use his guns. Opens the door and sees two forms on the floor under a blanket, a white comfort, and opens fire. He shot because he believes that his life was in danger and the threat of the arm being raised was something in it in that darkened bedroom where no one should have been. Authorities say Devine was shot at least four times and died at the scene. Wilson had three bullet wounds, but she survived her injuries. Covering Crime Beat Live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. Okay.